Hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Super pumped to launch the first 2023 Ram 3500 from Ram Trucks Australia. This one's come up from New South Wales and we are super keen to get in the first one, see what differences are on the 23 model and um, get this build underway for Ryan. We started off, noticed obviously this one didn't have the factory flares now, so the 23 model Rams aren't coming with the factory flares on the guards, which is proving a little bit of a challenge now for offsets and wheel tire combos for this. So definitely tell us if you've got the brand new one without those factory flares, please. So this one came in, we started with the 3.25 inch Carly pin top suspension kit. This one was a special one. We've gone for the black anodized King shocks as well as the black uh, hoses for this kit. So you can option for the blue or the black. We just need to um, have a little bit extra time waiting for the black one to come over from Carly in the US, but definitely looks the part with the rear end of this one. It's sitting quite high at the moment. So we've already done a full leaf spring reset for the rear of this one. It's getting a Norwell tray canopy combo down in New South Wales in the next couple of weeks. Once that weight goes on the back there, the wheel arches will go on the canopy as well, which will tie in nicely to the bushwhacker um, color-coded flares that we've gone with on the front. So the airbags are already installed at the back. This has got the Daystar cradles underneath the airbag kit. This is to allow the vehicle to still flex while traveling off-road. The airbag can separate from the bottom seat and when you are towing, it'll locate into that Daystar cradle, fill up the airbags and off you go. So suspension combo looks amazing. Uh, the wheel and tire combo on this one with some methods. Um, popular, popular wheel here. As we, as we know, the methods are number one choice here at Big Dog Builds. And then we've gone and installed a off-road creative front bar combo to this one. So the textured black front bar, carbon 15K winch with the steady LED lights integrated. We've also done the laser lamp, um, Sentinel spotlights on the front bar as well. This is the most popular combo for the front bar on these. You can opt for the two spotlights, three spotlights. You can even do no spotlights or a bar hoop if you don't like the hoop at all. So we can customize and make this one to suit your style and, and what you're chasing. Front end's looking amazing. We've also done some more color coding on the front end. So we've painted the top and bottom of the grill molds. This with the chrome still in the front grill is gonna tie in really nicely to the Norwell canopy on the back. And you've probably noticed if you haven't looked at them already, the mirrors on this model is quite different to the um, 2019 to 2022 models. So new Ram mirrors, we've gone and done a full color code on these mirrors. So um, yeah, being one of the first in Australia to get the 23s and get them color coded up, I can't wait to see this combo fully finished. We've got an installed a Rhino Rack combo to the roof of this one. So it's got the Rhino Rack backbone, the Pioneer platform, and up on top, you can see the two 1.2 meter whips from GME. This is the UHF combo XRS 370 from GME. And then we've got the Telstra Selfie Go here as well. So mobile phone booster, um, having the two whips on folding brackets up on the roof rack is gonna make it nice and easy to use and um, you're gonna have communication for days. This thing looks great. It's gonna perform even better once that canopy goes on the back with the blacked out res hoses as well. I can't wait to see this thing fully finished. If you've got a Ram 3500 on order, it's definitely the best platform for the weight carrying um, capabilities and any of the HD trucks. You've got over a 3200 kilo rear axle load rating. If you're chasing a canopy combo, boat loader on the roof, rooftop tent, and got a decent fan, definitely check out your axle load ratings on the vehicle that you're looking for. This is the number one option, as we say over and over again here at Big Dog. If you've got a truck on order, you're after the full touring setup, we can organize everything here at Big Dog Builds. This one has gone to GNL Motors. Uh, Reese and the team down there are gonna perform their magic, and I'll um, pass over to Reese to give you a bit of a rundown on, on what he's gonna do on this truck and the benefits you've got for these RAM platforms. So we've had this, uh... Dodge Ram here rock up up to us from Big Dog Builds. We're going to do what we do to 90% of 5th gen Rams on, on this vehicle. And what this does is it provides us reliability and a bit of an insurance policy for the truck um, driveline wise. These Rams have a number of small niggly issues that a lot of customers are concerned about, but they can be overcome very easily by doing these modifications. So first of all, I guess we can talk about the transmission. The 68 RFE transmission um, requires some modification in relation to the valve body. The valve body has issues with cross leakage internally. So first of all, we remove the pan of the transmission, we pull the valve body out and we install a billet channel plate. This billet channel plate and the separator plate stops cross leakage internally inside the transmission. 
We then do a valve body kit, also a thermostat bypass and a number of other small modifications internally to allow us to run a higher line pressure, pressure give us a clean crisp shift pattern and have a happy 68 RFE with no issues down the line. So that transmission package is always also paired with engine and transmission tuning, okay? That allowed the tuning side of things, which I'll get onto a minute, in a minute, it allows us to obviously add line pressure and change the shift points and the torque converter lockup strategy of the trans. Secondly, we do the heater grid delete, an intake ram from banks in the USA. The Cummins has issues with the heater grid stud or some guys call it a bolt dropping out and falling into the engine and then causing catastrophic failure of the engine. We don't need the heater grid here in Australia. Um, you know, fair enough if we were in North America or Canada, a little bit of a different story, but we do not require it for our temperatures and climate. So this just removes um, that heater grid assembly. So we don't have any risk of failure of that heater grid and stud assembly falling inside the engine. The Banks Monster Ram also helps with intake flow, okay? That is not 100% necessary. Is it a good thing to do flow-wise? Yes, especially on the bigger setups where we're doing turbos and injectors, it is a must, um, but always a good thing to do. Next of all, head studs. So guys using the exhaust brake heavily with lots of load, we end up with high EMP and high cylinder pressure, which can cause head gasket failure. So we use a set of ARP 425s as a security to hold the cylinder head against the block without the risk of blowing a head gasket. Simple job, we do not have to remove the cylinder head to do this. We can individually swap bolt by bolt and then do obviously a hot, torque, a hot retorque. You don't have to be concerned about head gasket failures again. I guess the final piece of the puzzle is tuning. So for all 2022 plus trucks, we do require a engine ECU swap. The 2022 ECU is locked. You cannot get into it at this stage. One day it may come about, but for the moment we are doing an ECU swap. So we remove the 2022 ECU from the vehicle. We add an earlier model ECU and then tune accordingly from there. The tuning, we usually do five tune select. So from an economized standard tune right through to a performance race tune. The tunes are available with switch on the fly, so you can change your horsepower and torque level whilst you are driving. The tuning of the engine and transmission is probably the biggest thing you're going to notice when, you know, after the job is done is the horsepower and torque delivery and drivability of the vehicle is second to none. We hope you like the brand new 3500 2023 model between Big Dog Builds, g &L Performance. If you've got a truck on order and you want to have the whole bundle done, get in touch today and I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers, guys.